Good morning, folks. Today we'll hit the climate, Betelgeuse, space electromagnetism, and some ancillary notes on the galactic trigger of Earth's catastrophe cycle. Let's begin over at spaceweathernews.com and find the last day on our star with the southern coronal hole looking enormous. But that is aided by the fact that today is Earth's southernmost orbital position in the solar system all year. In September, the Earth is about 7 degrees north of the solar equator. Today, we're about 7 degrees south. It's officially megaquake potential season for the Ring of Fire. When we look at the solar wind, we find that while variability has increased following yesterday morning's phi angle flip, that fluctuation is entirely within normal range and geomagnetism remains firm in the quiet condition. Here's the U.S. climate maps for the month of February. We had regions above average and regions below, and that goes for both the maximum temperatures during the day and the minimum temperatures in the early morning before sunrise. Not many extremes here, but on the precipitation side of things, we've seen drought return to California and record high precipitation marks across a large portion of the southeast. Staying with climate, we're going to South America where the media hype is revealed, showing how the fire burns actually wound up last season with Bolivia, yes, having it rough, but Argentina seeing its average fire burn nearly cut in half. As for the Amazon, which made the most news with the fires, Brazil's fire burn area was less than 2% higher than average. Quick note on Orion's shoulder. We've got even more evidence coming here that the star is not going to go nova. Instead, they are detecting high dust temperatures at Betelgeuse, which implies it's had a micro-nova release and the dusty ejecta is hiding the star now and playing with its light signature. That would be a shame, as I think it going supernova would be one of the most amazing things we could see in the sky. If you are unfamiliar with SOFIA, it's the infrared satellite changing cosmology seemingly with every snap of an image. New viewers can learn more at the SOFIA link in today's list. It is a nice review of its discoveries and no discovery has been more important than the revelation that it's not gravity and chaos regulating star formation in molecular clouds, it's magnetic fields and plasma turbulence. I've also linked the old Geomagnetic Jerk article from the ESA. If you are unfamiliar with some of the expected geomagnetic changes to the planet, it is a worthy place to begin, especially since we've got another Geomagnetic Jerk coming up here soon. Folks, after last week's Easter egg about the magnetic reversal starting date in 1859, today we come to the overall intensity map for another. We can see the strong and weak nodes in each hemisphere, but the overall center point between the fields that region where the four bubbles meet in the Indian Ocean, just happens to be where the north and south magnetic poles are tracking towards a meet. It's where the anomalous seafloor rise can be found. It's where Chan, Thomas, and others put the new pole positions after the next flip. And just as we said with the 1859 thing, very hard to believe we didn't notice the hundredth coincidence over on this side of the planet as well. Interesting article batting cleanup today trying to explain the newly discovered Radcliffe wave as a Kelvin-Helmholtz instability, and that would be interesting because it would require density differentials like between the ocean and air where the waves occur, and their words masterfully paint that picture of a rippling electric field running through the galaxy. This is of course important because that sheet must exist based on the plasma cosmology and if it exists, the sun must cross it in a cycle. We know that crossing such a current sheet delivers an electric particle surge, induced electric currents, and a magnetic reversal of the larger system itself. That is a rough gauntlet for a star to go through, and we are next. Watch Earth's Catastrophe Cycle playlist linked right below the video. It is the most worthwhile playlist we've got. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind map forecasts and shots of our star to close. And of course, we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.